But first, let's talk Cornelius and talk Wales. Hello, Cornelius. How you doing, James? Cornelius. How are you both? Yeah, we're good, man. How are you? Very, very good. Um, I listened to the opening of the uh, programme this evening. Yep. And you were talking about how Wales are well done in the last Euros when we got into the semi-finals against uh, Portugal. Mm-hmm. Now, during that game, uh, Ben Davis and Aaron Ramsey were both yellow carded. They didn't play in the game. And yet, Portugal beat Wales one goal to nil in the final few minutes of the game. Not by three or four, just by one goal. Now, this evening, um, I thought Wales played absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. But it comes over to me that you try to make out Turkey was ridiculous Turkeys. to emphasize where the Wales was only as good as because the opposition was so poor they and were yet, poor though Cornelius I, thought, I said Wales are brilliant but Turkeys played like Turkeys well there was a lot of people before this tournament highlighting Turkey trying to say that they were what some of the some of the um the dark horse in relation to this tournament I don't know how do you no, no. I mean, I mean, I am followed Turkey. Right? You know what I mean? I'm Welsh. Okay, so I got no idea that how people were promoting Turkey as part of our, um, a possibility that could be an outsider that could that could change the tournament. Now, the first game that we played against Switzerland, I totally agree. Right? It was extremely flat. It was a poor performance, but we did grind the result out to get a draw. Right? And I think that Wales are, as usual, underestimated. And we always tend to hear over the British media that it's always England, England, England. Now, England played Croatia. They won by one goal to nil, not three goals. They won by one goal to nil. They played Croatia in the semi-finals of the last World Cup, where the talisman did absolutely nothing, Harry Kane. And yet, during Croatia's game and in the opening of the Euros, Harry Kane did absolutely nothing yet again. So um, I wouldn't keep talking constantly how brilliant England are. Who said, Cornelius, 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 who said England were brilliant? Sorry? Who said England were brilliant? Well, come on, every tournament you listen to, any Euros, no, any World but... Cup, any tournament, it's always like England at the forefront no, of everything. I think, I think it's the complete opposite, actually, Who, who said England were brilliant? Sorry? Who said England were brilliant? Did you listen to the show on Monday, what we said? No, no, I didn't watch the show on Monday. I'm taking it as, well, like, for instance, I watched the, uh, watched the, um, the, the pundits when England played against Croatia in their opening game. Did they say they were brilliant? No, they didn't say they were brilliant. Excuse me, excuse me. I, I might have used the word brilliant wrongly, right. but you cannot argue with me saying that England are always in the forefront in any international game that we've got coming out of our country. Well, Scotland it's not. Lost. Well, Cornelius, yeah, with all Scotland due respect, C- Cornelius, with all due respect, it's not that often Wales get to a major tournament, is it? Well, Wales are, are, are qualified for the last Euros. I think it was the first time in over thirty-five years. Well, or that, more. well that's be. why we don't talk about Wales at major tournaments because they don't get there. Uh, excuse me. Okay, okay. You can be clever trying to talk back to me the way you are. Okay. It doesn't matter whether we. I'm not, Cornelius, I'm not. I'm not trying to be clever, but what when you're saying we don't talk about Wales, we big up England at major tournaments. That's because Wales don't get there. I'm not being rude. I'm just. I'm being honest. Right then. Well, this evening, then, seeing Wales are in the tournament, yeah. I hope you, I hope that you promote how well Wales played during the course of the evening, and so that we don't constantly. I, I mean. So that we don't constantly have to listen to how well Cornelius are and how great they play as Cornelius are and how they're supposed to win everything and they haven't been in a final of a tournament since 1966. Cornelius, did have you heard the whole show? I'm sorry. Have you heard the whole show? They've been on for th- for 30 minutes. Have you heard the whole show? No, I tuned in about five minutes ago and he right. was talking about Wales. Well, I mean, I can't Australia. help if you've missed if you've missed some of the show because we all yeah. said how good Wales were. You happen to yeah. hear the bit about Turkey. I think I said that at the same time. Turkey tonight were poor. Wales were excellent. That's how I saw yeah. the game. Right. Uh, did you think that possibly that Turkey was poor? Because no, I thought they were awful. Wales, I thought they were awful. If you can't work out that the runners from midfield kept happening and kept happening and kept happening and they'd done nothing about it. Wales were excellent. Turkey played like turkeys. <laughs> they did. That's how I saw the game. Wales right. were excellent. Turkeys played like turkeys. Right, so how do you think Wales are going to stand in the rest of the tournament? Don't know, Cornelius, because if you play like you did against Switzerland, you ain't going very far. Right then, so how do you think they're going to do playing this evening? 
I thought you were excellent tonight. I said that. I thought you were excellent. You, I thought the, you know he the, wants. You know he wants you to lose, though, Cornelius. Yeah. Of course, I want. I want Wales to do as well as he wants England to do. No, no, right, right. Let's get a few things right here first of all, guys. Okay. Obviously, my priority is seeing Wales doing well. But I also believe that I'm British as well as Welsh. Okay. Rubbish. Then. Absolute rubbish. Don't tell me rubbish. You're talking I mean, rubbish, you Cornelius. Know. You don't want England to win, and you just phone up here now. Tell me now, do you want England to win the Euros? Uh, no. Right, well, there's it. that's it then. That's that. That's it then. I don't want Wales to win, you want England to win. That's the way it should be. That's true. Yes, I've I, I got no problems with that whatsoever, guys, okay? Okay? Mm. But, uh, but let's not talk countries down at, at all, Okay. Wales have done very, very well. Before this tournament, when they seen the group stages, everybody wrote Wales off before we kicked the ball. Okay? Who? So who see, did that? Let's see, let's see what that? happens who did during that? the tournament. Oi, Chippy, who did that? Who wrote Wales off? God almighty. Uh, uh, Chippy. Come on. You must be watching some of the programmes, so Sky Sports, every bloody so sports channel. The, the, you know, the you know you've got phone Sky Sports, Cornelius, yeah? You know you phone talk sport. Oh, I, I, I know exactly who I'm speaking to. Go on, give us okay. a name then. You said they all wrote Wales off. Give us a name. Who did that? Oh, come on, guys. Come on. It, it was soon, as soon as a bloody... I suppose as soon as a group stage was, was announced, straight away they tried to make out... Who? The, the win's got a very difficult chance. Who, to, who did? Lin, you Linekers, Alan Shearer, bloody... Uh, all, all the usual BBC pundits. No, there's there's no way anyone on the BBC would have written Wales' chances off. But they don't use those words as, as direct. As Cornelius, you've saying. got a chip on your shoulder, mate. You have, honestly. You phoned up here shouting out all I the odds. I've got a chip you on have. my shoulder just you because have. I'm standing up for my country. Is that what you're telling me? No, I'm saying that you've got a chip on your shoulder right. thinking everyone's looking down at Wales and I don't remember anyone, anyone writing right. Wales off. I don't remember anyone saying Wales got no chance. Who said that? You said Lineker said it. I don't think Lineker would have done. No, he Because he's done. a presenter. Yeah. He doesn't give an opinion. He asks questions. And Shearer's not going to say it. When did Shearer say it? Okay, okay. I'll tell you what then, guys. Okay, we're in this tournament now, right? And let's just make sure we see that Wales get as, as much healthy airtime as anybody We're else. We're getting it now. Okay? And all you've done is and phone up Moan. You people, you two, try to be cocky and try to talk to people when they phone up and try to be clever. You ain't clever enough. Well, you phoned up with a massive chip on your shoulder. Listen, you just won. You phoned up. You've got a you got a big angry head on your shoulder. Why are you so angry? He's gone. Why? Why, why are you winding with... people like that up? What do you mean? What's the matter him Call him Chippy. Why do you do that to people? Because he phones up. He phoned up. Like I remember him now. I remember the conversation. Him last time, yeah. He phoned up. Had a right old dig. He got a chip on his shoulder. I like the way you asked him right at the end. Do you want England to win? No. <laughs> it's exactly the same, isn't it? We got time for one more. Take a quick wrap one, Rufus. Uh, let's speak to... Uh, we've got Clobby. We won't take Clobby yet. Let's speak to Danny. Clobby will be in the next part. Hello, Danny. All right, Dan. Hey, boys. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, we're good, Dan. How are you? Very good, thank you. Please don't upset me like you did with Cornelius. We won't upset you. We won't upset you, Danny. <laughs> don't shout at us, though, Dan. <laughs> I'll try not to, I promise. Uh, no, I mean, I'm, so I, I think it's a good move. Uh, I think I think Everton fans... The majority of the Everton fans won't be happy about Benitez going there. Um, but I mean, I spoke to a few a few mates, the Liverpool fans, and we all have the same sort of opinion. Where it, it became more than the city, Benitez was uh, sorry, more than the club. Benitez was massive for us. You know, we we had some brilliant nights with him. But it was after that really he had the effect on Liverpool as a city. He did a lot of work with Hillsborough. He donated a lot of money. There's you know, there's images that are always flying around of him getting really emotional um, at the uh, memorials. Um, and I just, I mean, his family still live there as well. So I just think it, it, it's it's at the end of the day, he wants to work near to his family where he lives, and I just think it makes sense for, for all parties, really. Yeah, I yeah, agree. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's, he's got to make a living. I know I know people think that, that he should just pick and choose the teams that he can go to, and, you know, Everton's a big job, a huge job. He lives in the area. It's almost perfect for yeah. him. Kitty Cool's coming in 08717 Do you want Chippy to call back or not? I think you upset him, he won't call you back. He put the phone down. Do you want him to phone you back and apologise? I mean, he can phone up later in the tournament when Wales well, get knocked out. Funny. Okay. Uh, you're listening to the Eurosport Bar on TalkSport with Manny Goldstein and more importantly him, Jason Cundy, in partnership with Bet365. The Sports Bar with Andy Goldstein and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday night from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.